Hi there, my name's Anthony James. Uh, I'm a junk model maker, that means I make models out of junk. And have done for about 20 years as a company called Creature Armour. I work for film, television and theatre as a prop maker and I work in lots and lots of schools and have done across the UK and beyond. I'm just going to do a little bit now about general model making techniques. So if you've already seen this on another one of my YouTube posts, then just fast forward to the bit where my shirt changes colour, that will be the actual make. For those that haven't uh, seen any of my posts before, I'm just going to do a little general piece about making models. The first thing you're going to need, if you're making them out of junk, is some scissors. These are my sort of medium sized scissors, good for adults, but if you're working with children, what you want are these smaller scissors with the blue handles on them. Uh, they're obviously different colours. If they're yellow and green in the UK, they're for left-handed people. If they're just one colour like this, they're for right-handed. Get that right straight off, because obviously if you're trying to cut the wrong pair of scissors for you, you won't be able to make anything. Children particularly will think it's their talent that's at fault, so we don't want that to happen. Uh, they're sharp, be careful. Small scissors like this are blunt-ended, which is great, so they're not quite as easy to stab yourself with. Also, um, they're very good for cutting round corners, so for making smaller models, these are the scissors you want, particularly if you're working with children. And then, everything I build, and you can see some of my things behind me, is made with masking tape. Uh, masking tape is fantastic stuff. It's, you don't have to wait for it to dry, it's dry straight away, and you can paint over it. But there are ways to use it, and certain ways not to use it. This is one of the ways not to use masking tape, particularly with children. Don't try and break it with your teeth. The first thing, obviously, you'll get it stuck to your lip and it hurts when you pull it off. That can make a child's lip very sore. It's also not very hygienic. Uh, so don't do it that way. The way I do it, and it's a very simple way, yes, you can use scissors, but I tend to find that slows you down. Just get the tape off, and you can see in my hand there, the sticky side's away from you. Put your thumb on the corner and pull. The tape comes straight off makes you very quick at making things. I'm going to put that bit of tape there later on because that's how to do it. Put lots of little bits of tape around so they're ready to use. I'm going to do it again. Put a bit of tape off. Put your thumb there, right in the corner. Don't worry if you bite your nails or you don't think you've got very long nails. Just press your thumb on really hard. It will still work and tear. And that's your tape. That's really all you'll need. Uh, obviously some paints at the end of the make will be very good. Uh, there's all kinds of different paints out there. Try and use a water-based paint if you're working with children because that's easier to wash out of where they're going to get the paint all over. Uh, and uh, obviously the way I'm going to show you to make models, you should have a surface that's quite easy to paint. There are lots of different makes of paint out there. I find acrylic some of the best paint to use. So this re that's really just the general model make. Now on to the actual building of, well, what you're going to make next. Off we go. Hi, and for this make, we're going to make the European Space Agency space launcher, uh, the Ariane rocket. This is the Ariane rocket. Here's one we made earlier. Um, this is made out of a bottle and kitchen rolls. Uh, quite a nice make, so I'll just show you how to do it. The first thing you're going to need is a bottle. So you grab a bottle like this. Again, if there's any fluid, any liquid inside, just do the top up really tightly like that so it won't come out. Empty most of it out first, but if there's anything left, just do the top up so it's not going to cause you any problems. And then you'll need a piece of paper. Make you scrap paper, newspaper, anything you like. But for this, I'm just going to use this white paper here. Get your masking tape and stick this piece of paper to the table. So it's half on and half off, and I'm just sticking it to the table like that. All the way around, try and get your big bits of tape off like this. So, uh, so they will reach all the way around. Uh, and again, make sure your table can cope with this. So not a table that's got a tablecloth on, not a table that's varnished. It needs to be a laminated table like this. And just stick your tape all the way around and then find a corner and very gently pull that off the table and you'll make this big sticky patch. Lie that upside down on the table and then use your bottle just like a rolling pin and just roll the bottle onto the paper like that and there is the bottle all covered. That just essentially means it's all covered ready to paint. If you want to you can actually draw decoration on like this and draw lines and dots for your rocket later on. So that's another reason why we cover it in paper. The next stage is to make the boosters. Now the Ariane rockets are sort of well known for having these two boosters either side. So to do those you'll need two kitchen rolls, 
or four toilet rolls. I've got a kitchen roll and I've got two toilet rolls I've just stuck together ready. So those are the boosters. And what you'll need to do for these, get quite a long bit of tape like this. I'm gonna put it straight just to be neat. And with the rock it makes, it's good to just do uh, this on some of the tape and put it straight because it just makes uh, the rockets look neater. Um, make sure your booster here look just goes to the end here, but doesn't interfere with the bottom of the bottle so that your rocket will still stand up on the table. And just take your tape round and make sure you tuck it right in like that. And that's the trick. Just tuck your tape in so that when you lift it up, look, you can't really see it. Now, if you do that, that means that, again, it's, very, it's a very strong joint, but because you've tucked it all the way round, you can't really tell that it's there. So I'm going to do that again. And really, you'll want to do it twice on each booster. So I'm just going to take the tape round like that, look. And then, again, tuck it well in like that. There's one. I'm going to do the same again. Normally, uh, when we're doing this kind of thing, I'd cut now to me having finished it. But I don't see why you shouldn't wait while I do it. Because you see that there's no cheating. So I'm going to put the tape round there, look. This is another way, just take your tape round, make sure it's opposite, and then just tuck that tape in. And I can't stress about tucking the tape in. If you do this, and just take the tape across like that, well, you can see yourself how different that looks to that. That's not very good. So again, just cut your tape nice and straight like that. Just stick it over the booster and tuck it in nicely and you'll just have a better make and it's quite a nice way of sticking it together. And there's your two boosters ready. The next part is to make the points on top of those boosters and it's a very simple way. If you've, if you've watched my how to make a, the um, Soviet rocket you'll know this as well. Just go snip, 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 lots of snips all the way around the boosters, snip, snip, snip. If you want to do this before you put it on, you can. Snip, 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 all the way around. And then you make the points. Now the points, and this is exactly the same way as you make a point on a different rocket as well. A toilet roll, squish it, cut from one corner to the other corner. Like that. And again, if you've uh, watched the um, making of the, the Soviet rocket, you'll already know this. I'm just going to cut that nice and straight. So tidy to use. I'm just going to now fold that bit of tape over where I've cut that toilet roll. Just like that. Nice and neat if you can. Press it down and there's your cone. And again, look, it'll be too long on one side, so I'm just going to cut that the same. You should now be able to just pull these um, uh, little sections in that you've cut just to fit your booster on like that and there's your point for your booster there and of course if you've used a toilet roll you've done the other one as well so there's the other one again just fold your toilet roll like that fold it flat put your tape over put it nice and straight at the base like you can see make a nice cone almost like an ice cream cone like that pull those little sections in you've pre-cut on the boosters and just slot that on and stick that together with some tape. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to stick that together with some tape because we'll have to wait for me to do that. I'd rather get on and show you how to do the next bit. The next bit is a toilet roll or a cardboard tube. I've got some toilet rolls down here. So we're going to put that there. The way to do that, get some tape, just take the tape all the way around the toilet roll, half on and half off, like that. Use your scissors and just go snip, snap, snip. Snap, snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. Just cut the masking tape, not the cardboard. Bend that out into a sticky flour. I use that, I use that, this uh, model making technique a lot, this sticky flour. Pick your rocket up so that you can see the end of the rocket, this, this bottle top bit here. And just put that tube central so that the, the top of the bottle is in the middle. That really will make sure this goes on straight and then press your petals down. And you'll see there, look, that's gone on quite straight, just like that. Now, the Ariane rockets, this is the real bit that makes them look like the uh, Ariane uh, European Space Agency rocket. 
is they don't have the point that a lot of rockets have. They have quite a, a sort of bulbous shape here on the top. So what I'm going to do to use uh, to make it is I'm going to use this these old pop bottles here. Look, um, I'm going to stick two together. Now on the version that we have here, we've used a like a, a, a fizzy pop bottle on the top there, but just in the junk here I've got here didn't have one. So I'm just going to use these instead and stick them together like this. Bit of tape around there. I'm going to press it down. Really press it down like that. I'm going to use the one with the top still on because the one without the top there. So I'm going to use the one that hasn't got the top. And I'm going to stick that on there like that. And there really is the Ariane Space Launcher. That's about it. I'm going to take a bit of tape around there to make sure that it's going to be straight. Like that. And really now it's just a case of decorating and painting. There are lots of ways of decorating it. Here's one. Uh, get a single hole punch. If you um, you can find these in all stationary shops. Um, you can use a, a normal hole punch if you want to, but I find the single ones are very controllable, so that's a good reason to use them. Get some thin card off a cereal box or a box like this lot. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be cutting myself a strip out. Quite a thin strip. About uh, just over a centimetre wide, like that. And use your hole punch and just punch some holes in it. All the way along. There we are. Now, there's my holes. Look. And actually, for the camera look, I'm holding up against the white there so you can see really what you've made like that. Now that's just a lovely way of putting a bit of decoration on. I'm going to stick, I'm going to cut that irregularly like that. I'm going to use a bit of tape. You can use um, glue sticks if you wanted to do this, which are very good. Um, but uh, I'm just going to do it with a bit of tape here, two little bits of tape to hold it on lovely. So there's two little bits of tape. Again, I've cut them straight with a pair of scissors. I wouldn't do that if I was making dinosaurs or something like that. It's just for the rockets, that's quite good. And I'm going to stick that there. It's just a little bit of decoration look. And if you look at the one I've already made, there are sections of it already on there. Look, there's a section there. I've used corrugated cardboard, corrugated cardboard there. Just bits that I found in it in my box of junk at home. Uh, and that really is how to make your European Space Agency launcher. I've also printed off some of the logos from the actual um, from the actual launcher there. Look. Just off the computer, just found them on Google Images, printed them out so I can stick them on again with the glue stick, which I've done here, and that's assigned the um, ESA logo as well, which I've stuck on up there, just to make it look a bit more authentic. And of course, with this one, I've sprayed it, uh, and I've sprayed it sort of with a grey paint and then with a white. If you don't want to use spray paint, paint it and then stick your um, uh, then stick your logos, etc., on afterwards, and you can paint it with any sort of mix of paint. If when you're painting the plastic, if you just add a bit of PVA, a bit of PVA glue to the paint, it will paint over the plastic. Uh, and you'll end up with the Internet, well, the a European Space Agency Space Launcher, the Ariane Rocket. And thank you for watching, hope you enjoy making that. So it's quite a simple make, and of course if you don't want to do an ESA rocket, it can just be a science fiction type rocket, and you can put any details on you would like. So enjoy, and uh, have a go. Thank you for watching.